St. Peter stood guard at the Golden Gate with a solemn mien and air sedate. When up the top of the Golden Stair a man and a woman ascended there, applied for a mission, then came and stood before St. Peter so great and good in hopes the city of peace to win and asked St. Peter to let them in. The woman was tall and lank and thin with a scraggly beardlet upon her chin. The man was short and thick and stout, his stomach was built so it rounded out. His face was pleasant, and all the while he wore a kind and genial smile. The choir in the distance, the echoes woke, the man kept still while the woman spoke. O thou who keepest the gate, said she, we too come hither beseeching thee to let us enter the heavenly land and play our harps with the angel band. Of me, St. Peter, there is no doubt. There's nothing from heaven to bar me out. I've been to meeting three times a week, and almost always I'd rise to speak. I've told the sinners about the day when they'd repent of their evil way. I've told my neighbors, I've told them all, about Adam and Eve and the primal fall. I've talked and talked to them loud and long, for my lungs are good and my voice is strong. So I told them what they would have to do if they passed in with a chosen few. So good St. Peter, you'll clearly see the gates of heaven are open to me. But my old man, I'll regret to say, hadn't walked exactly in the narrow way. He smokes and he swears and grave faults he's got. I don't know whether he'll pass or not. He never would pray with an earnest vim, or go to a revival, or join in a hymn. So I had to leave him on duty there, while I was the chosen united in prayer. He ate what the pantry chanced to afford, while I and my purity sang to the Lord. And if cucumbers were all he got, it's a chance if he merited them or not. But, oh, St. Peter, I love him so, to the gates of heaven, please let him go. I've done enough, a saint I've been, won't that atone, can't you let him in? But say, St. Peter, it seems to me this gate isn't kept as it ought to be. You ought to stand by the open there and never sit down in that easy chair. And say, St. Peter, my sight is dim, but I don't like the way your whiskers are trimmed. They're cut too wide and outward tossed, They'd look better in our straight, cut straight across. But we must be going our crowns to win, so open, St. Peter, and we'll pass in. St. Peter sat quiet and struck his staff, but in spite of his office he had to laugh. Then said with a fiery gleam in his eye, Who's tending this gateway, you or I? And then he rose in his stature tall and pressed a button up on the wall, and said to the imp who answered the bell, escort this lady around to hell. The man stood still as a piece of stone, stood silently, gloomily there alone. For a lifelong settled idea he'd had that his wife was good and she was bad. And if she went down below, that he certainly would have to go. But if she went to the regions dim, there wasn't a ghost of a show for him. So slowly he turned by habit bent to follow wherever the woman went. St. Peter, standing on duty there, observed that the top of his head was bare. He called the gentleman back and said, Friend, how long have you been wed? Thirty years, with a weary sigh, and then he thoughtfully added why. St. Peter stood quiet with head bent down, he raised his hand and he scratched his crown, and seemingly a different thought to take, slowly a half to himself he spake. Thirty years with that woman where, there, no wonder the man hasn't any hair. Swearing is wicked and smoke's not good, he smoked and he swore, I should think he would. Thirty years with that tongue so sharp, oh angel Gabriel give him a heart. Give him a harp with golden strings. Good sir, pass in where the angels sing. 
Gabriel, give him a seat alone, one with a cushion up near the throne. Call up some angels to play their best. Let him enjoy the music and rest. See it on finest ambrosia he feeds. He's had about all the hell he needs. Didn't exactly the thing to do to roast him on earth and the future too. So they give him a harp with golden strings, a glittering rope and a pair of wings. And he said as he entered the realms of day, well, this beats, this beats.